get material let's first let's open up our material or material editor we're going to do that by going up and picking on material editor we're going to go with the compact now now that we have our compact material editor open if we go up and choose under material on the drop down and say get material we get material uh, make sure that these are uh, the plus signs are hit to minuses so all the all the particular uh, they expand to the maximum here and in here we have a variety of ways in which we can get a material or a map for a particular sample slot and then that material can affect all its properties such as color opacity uh, glossiness etc so uh, what we do is we just pick on one I'll come down and pick on ray trace and when I pick on ray trace pops over here you notice I'm picking the default material number two here the second one here it's highlighted and it placed the near material number 51 ray trace so it's already then uh, populated that um, just by double clicking on it is all I did there you know I could pick on architecture double click on it and now you can see architecture is included so all I do is double click on on the get material and it shows up over my material editor. Now, we might not be able to find the thing we're looking for, so we can search for it by name. I could come up and say, I want to search for anything that starts with the letter D, and it's automatically going to come along and find all the things that start with D. I can now clear the results by hitting the X button over here on the right. So maybe I want to find some woods, so I type in W for woods, and I can find woods, and I double click on it, and boom it's already into that position um, also I have a few other options over here to the left of my search is my material and mapping options when I hit the down arrow I have then one thing I can do is create a new group so a new grouping is like down here with standards uh, etc we can pick our own type of grouping so we could end up making our own uh, section here and we could create materials to go into that new grouping so we can create a new grouping we can actually go and open our material library so when I go to open material library uh, you'll see that I can come out to my C drive and I go to my program files and I go to Autodesk and I go to 3ds Max 2016 and I go to material libraries let's go down here here are my particular material libraries already preloaded in 3ds Max so uh, we have those already installed we could also create a new material library to do that we're going to go up here to our options material options come down and we would say a new material library we're going to tell it a name our material library uh, file extension will be a MAT for material and we can place that wherever we need to uh, by default uh, right now I'm having it in my user users uh, file but I could put it out on the C drive etc or on the network and once I do that I'd hit save and make sure that that is saved uh, let's see and uh, so our getting material essentially is for us to get materials or a mapping and down here I have different types of mappings down here and I'm gonna place that onto a particular slot so um, I'm coming along in here and I can say okay um, let's just go with architecture and now this one right here is my architecture material and this one over here is a wood material okay so getting the material uh, we just go up to material and say get material and that's how we get material or mapping for an selected sample slot